gun safety advocates. Along with more funding for mental health care, Vice President Joe Biden is also expected to recommend significant gun control measures, universal background checks, limiting how many bullets a magazine clip can hold, and an assault weapons ban. And at the White House, an emotional East Route, tears and presidential hugs for victims of gun crimes from places like Newtown, Virginia Tech, and Chicago. President Obama unusually passionate and appearing concerned that momentum for gun reform has stalled on Capitol Hill. Shame on us if we've forgotten. I haven't forgotten those kids. The president promising to keep the pressure on Congress to pass an assault weapons ban even though it looks doomed at this point. Families that know unspeakable grief summon the courage to petition their elected leaders. Not just to honor the memory of their children, but to protect the lives of all of our children. A few minutes ago, a minority in the United States Senate decided it wasn't worth it. President Obama in the Rose Garden, hugging the families of those Newtown victims, calling it a shameful day for Washington after the defeat of that amendment he was trying to pass in the Senate that would expand background checks for all gun buyers. And I have to say, this is about as angry as I have ever seen the President in public. He said that those lobbying against his amendment willfully lied, said they spurt were spreading untrue, said that the senators who voted against that he talked to could not come up with coherent arguments, could not offer a good reason to vote against this. And he also promised to continue the fight. You also see him embracing Gabby Giffords there, also a victim of gun violence, the former congresswoman. He said that those who support his efforts are going to have to be as passionate, organized, and vocal as those who are against him, those in the gun lobby. And he promised that the fight will go on. That is the president. While he was speaking, we should say that his call for an assault weapons ban was defeated as he began to speak by a far wider margin. So the president's major initiatives that he's called for after Newtown four months ago have been defeated. Uh, in the Senate, but he promises that the fight 